Here we have a dragon in teleplay. Let's let it spin some more so that you see the full effect. I really like this. Maybe we can move this flame up a little bit higher. I don't know. I'm allowed to say that I really like this scene. And you know, even though, so right in this scene I'm using, so this is a figurine I got from, I recently stayed in Las Vegas for an Ed Sheeran concert, which actually ended up being canceled. Uh, fun story, we, <clears throat> so. <coughs> Turn the music off. <sighs> so we got this at the Excalibur Las Vegas Resort. Um, I got this for Amy, my girlfriend. And um, so the Ed Sheeran concert was canceled. And f quick story, uh, they were we were outside in 102 degree heat for a couple hours before they let us in. So the Alle Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, that was a disaster. But we had an amazing time regardless. We think the Excalibur Hotel was like, you know, it's not one of those fancy hotels but it's a, gr a great value. And we got this, obviously, this, we got this little dragon at the Excalibur Resort in Las Vegas. And even though I'm doing it for this figurine, you know, you can make the same scene if you have like, um, like a candle or any really type of animal or really any figurine which um, deserves its uh, own 3D motion spin. And let me show you how I'm doing this. Okay, so it's almost like, you know, there's like a magical circle which is lifting and levitating up the dragon. So that was the main idea behind this scene. So let me show you what I'm doing here. Let me zoom out a little. So we have the green blanket on, um, on a wall. It's being lit by one, two 100 watt LED daily bulbs. And we have the dragon about 10 inches away from the blanket. And the dragon is on top of cubes. And it's being lit by one, two, three daylight LED daylight bulbs. Um, and that's it in terms of the physical setup. Now, I, I, I assume you already know how to do the calibration for teleplay because I show it in all my recent videos. Um, if you need help with that, let me know but I'm gonna assume you're ready to the calibration for the green screen. And once you do that, you can, let me show you the type of scene I'm doing. So, let me scroll down so you don't have to figure it out. So the name of this particular background, oh yeah, okay. To get this particular scene, all you have to do is search for the word stand. Okay, just search for stand within the backgrounds. Okay, should take about 10 seconds. Now go to photo preview and then click on, which one did I use? I believe I use yet. Yeah. Then click on medieval stand three. And once you click on that, it'll appear like so. And then for the foreground, I use the loopable ground fire 50. So if you just search for the word loopable in here, loopable, you'll also find this effect without having to scroll through anything. So give it about 10 seconds. Downloaded, yeah, so yeah, and then there it is, loopable ground fire 50, and then you can just, you know, I put it on the rim of this little circular empty stand, and that's it, and then you can add some music Let's try, I don't know, download it. And that's it, guys. And, um, okay, so I think that, so see, notice how there, you may be wondering, I, there are four cubes there. Do I need that many cubes in order to make this scene? Well, let's see. Let me turn this off. Okay, so here, um, so see, if I were to turn off all the, the background effects, I'm using one, two, three cubes, but you can easily, what you can do in this scene, just lower the dragon a little bit. 
just lower the dragon a bit and you'll get the same effect um, to make this scene happen. And um, one last thing I wanted to point out, make sure you have spill suppression enabled. Notice how much better it looks like with spill suppression. See, it removes all of that green glare and makes it the scene look a lot more real. And that's it, guys. I'm here. I really like this scene, and I'm always here if you ever have any questions.